afterlife. Things unseen and unknown. The supernatural has always been a fascination with mankind, and on certain occasions, the two can seem to collide. One location where this seems to have happened over the years is Ashley's Restaurant in Rockledge. The restaurant has become well known to parapsychologists nationwide for its strange occurrences. Built in the 1930s, several deaths are said to have taken place on or near the site, and some believe the entities or souls of these people are haunting the restaurant today. Dolores McLaughlin recently spoke with the restaurant's manager and asked him if he were a true believer in entities. Um, I'm not a true believer, but we've had enough occurrences that uh, makes you wonder sometimes. Uh, we've had uh, a lot of incidents. We had an incident oh, a couple months ago where my wife was walking down the stairs and got to the bottom of the stairs and thought somebody was tapping on her shoulder all the way down and turned around and nobody was there. She came to me and said, did you do that? And I said, no. I said, I was in the kitchen working, you know that. And um, we've had just enough strange things. You know, there must be some explanation, but exactly what it is, who knows. Why aren't you a believer? I don't know. I just, uh, I personally haven't had anything really believable. I've had enough people tell me things. Um, we have a girl, Kathy Enderard, that worked here at night's barmaid, and she was sitting here at closing time with two of the kitchen help because she had them stay with her until everybody's out of the building. And uh, <laughs> they heard salt and pepper shakers clacking upstairs, and uh, they didn't bother to look. They just backed up the door and left. But um, there's just enough strange incidences, and we've had enough people come in that um, and s tell us stories. What have been some of those stories? Um, the, the book, The Ghostly Register. Mm -hmm. And um, we, we, Judy Cowles, the former manager, has been in and told us and asked if we have anything happen. Um, Candy Bissell, who's one of our bartenders here, who was a bartender for Judy Cowles, mm -hmm. um, swears one night she was in putting the money upstairs, the safe is upstairs, putting the money in the safe. And um, she heard all this racket downstairs, like all the pots and pans were falling in the kitchen, went running into the kitchen, and nobody was in there. Um, everything was on the floor, but nobody was in there. <laughs> and she said, geez, you know hauled for the door and left. Um, we've had psychics come in and you know Florida Today or Gannett, Gannett newspapers did the articles with Billy Cox there and um, there must be something to it. There's so many people have come in and looked at it and had psychics come in. And so what is the story behind all of this? Um, a woman that worked here as I understand, um, Ethel was her name, and we call her Sarah, but, but her name was Ethel. Mm -hmm. um, I understand was chased down the stairs right behind us here. And on the, while running down the stairs, she was stabbed, ran into the ladies' room and died. And her killer got away with it. At the time, I guess he was a local prominent person. And he got away with killing her, and um, her presence is here as a result. And then the psychics say that one ghost attracts another ghost. And a young girl was killed out front on the, str on the street. And a hobo was killed out back on the um, tracks. And because there was one presence here already, they attract other presences. So there's actually three, three ghosts. Is three ghosts. What the, is what the psychics say. But they've had enough psychics in you know, here. We've had psychics come from California and sit at the bar. and we've had, it, It's interesting. They, the different people have come in and are believers. And, different stories. How does this affect your business? Uh, are people and naturally intrigued or are they We've had people come in and come in with a video camera and take pictures around hoping like in the picture that a ghost will show up in one of the videos and we've had um oh they did a write up in uh the Clearwater, St. Tampa Clearwater's Times I believe and um we had a lot of people come over from Clearwater to look for the yeah. ghost I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully for the food but I think they came to look for the ghost. What about your employees? Can you keep them? Are they afraid to work late at night? It's difficult to keep the barmaids here late at night, especially if they're alone. They, they don't want to be alone in the building, so they uh, get somebody in the kitchen to stay with them or get a regular customer to come back and have a couple drinks with them. And it it's always makes you wonder, you know, every time the building creaks or something, that uh, what is that? Is that because they've um, been said to be here late at night or early in the morning? Um, it's scary enough being, I guess, a barmaid late at night, but then to be in a haunted restaurant, and it's an older building, and it always is creaking and rocking, and there's always noises, so I'm sure that adds to it. The following week, three members of TV 43 spent the night at Ashley's after closing to try to attract these entities and possibly record any ghostly sounds and images that might occur. 
One thing about walking into the place, there's definitely a feeling that you're not alone here. It's rather strange, but um, it's very noticeable. Um, I think a lot of it has to do with your own personal, if you have an a idea of what's going on here, your mental feelings start to take over and you feel a lot of what, you know, what you're expecting and what your anxieties are going to feel. Uh, as to whether we're going to feel anything tonight or not, I, I'm a little bit skeptical, but at the same time, I'm a little apprehensive about it, a little nervous, um, a tap on the shoulder or anything like that, all of a sudden swinging doors behind me, who knows. I'm obviously here for a reason. It's because I do believe in entities, or spirits, or ghosts, or whatever you want to call them. I prefer to call them entities. I do believe in them, and I'm here specifically because I do want to experience something. Now, whether I will or not, I don't know. But uh, I would like to leave here uh, a few hours from now uh, with something on tape. I would like to experience something. Um, I am a believer. Um, I've had apprehensions about this. I know my wife is, is not going to sleep tonight because she knows I'm in here, but I'm with two other guys, and that helps a lot because this is something I would not do myself. Myself, I, I, I believe maybe something. Uh, entities, ghosts, poltergeists, whatever, something ha did happen here and has happened here to several people. Hopefully we'll experience something. If not, then we came and we, uh, we were interested enough and curious enough to try to find out. And uh, by the time morning comes, if, if uh, we're all alive and well, then, then all the better. And if not, something has happened, we, we, then we're changed, fine. I'm, I'll be glad for the experience. This is the hallway that many waitresses and busboys have felt a choking sensation and, um, and a musty odor and a cold uh, spell. And it is cold back here, but as far as anything back here, there's, I don't feel any sensation whatsoever. This is supposedly, again, the corridor where the choking sensation and the musty odors and all that take place. This is the famous south stairway where um, Ethel Allen, right, was um, lost a lot of blood. So perhaps the screaming that is, has been heard in the restaurant is of the girl. Uh, but this is the, the stairway, the south stairway that people have been bumped and pushed. Customers and people that have worked here. So Up here is also where a lot of activity, a lot of sounds, a lot of audible sounds have occurred up here. Whisperings, pushing and tapping and bumping and, and noises. One of the busboys I talked to said when he was walking down this stairway right here, he was pushed on the last run, and uh, he was in a cast for three months. But that's the stairway where he was pushed. Now, uh, up here is the manager's office, and um, things have happened up here also. This is the restroom in here where um, <clears throat> manager Judy Cowles, between the doorways here, um, as she was leaving, she felt something grab the back of her neck. and. Um, she told, she said, Sarah, please let me go. Apparently, she was thinking it was Sarah, who might be Ethel Allen also. But this is the stall right in here where uh, uh, Judy, Cowles, Judy Cowles saw the uh, Ethel Allen. And of course, the reflections in the mirror. People have seen faces in the mirror. The uh, faucet here has turned on and off by itself. After six hours of nervous anticipation, where no supernatural experience happened, the crew packed up and went home. A little disappointed, but relieved at the same time. The restaurant was empty until the lunch crowd filed in. Or was it?